Hello learners, so we are back today with our another question. The question name is for some part 2. So let's see what the question says. The question says given four list A, B, C, D of integer value, how many compute how many tuples i, j, k, l there are such that a i plus b j plus c k plus d l is zero. Okay, to make problem a bit easier, all a, b, c, d have same length of n where 0 less than equal to n less than equal to 500. All integers are in the range of minus 2 to the power 28 to 2 to the power 28 minus 1. And the result is guaranteed to be at most 2 to the power 31 minus 1. Okay, so let's see a is 1 comma 2, b is minus 2 comma minus 3, c is minus 1 comma 2 and d is 0 comma 2. Okay, so suppose we, so output is 2, why? Because there are two uh, we can do by like by taking one minus two minus one and two first is this one which compute to zero and the second one is the second one is two uh, the second one is two minus two and uh, 2 comma 0 this computes to 0 so because there are two ways we can make them 0 that's why the output is 0 now how we can solve it Ayushi uh, so guys we can solve it by easiest method call order like we can compute each and every like we can take loop for a dot length 0 to a dot length n in that we can take 0 to b dot length and for 0 to c dot length and uh, like nested loop again 0 to d dot length and here we can compute a of i plus sorry a of i plus b of j plus c of k plus d of l is equals to 0 if this is we can do count plus plus okay but this thing this whole nested loop thing will take order of n e power 4 okay uh, so and it will lead us to TLE so we want some another solution of this problem okay so how we can do hmm uh, we have done question like to some problem in which we have two a i plus a j and we have to equate it equal to target so if we can do something like this the complexity will increase gradually okay so how we can make this make this thing into this thing let's see hmm so we are saying that a of i plus b of j plus c of k plus d of l is equals to 0. Okay. So, what if we do that like a of i plus b of j is equals to minus of c of k plus its k c of k okay sorry 
c of k plus d of l so basically this will decrease our time complexity in order of n square plus order of n square which is order of 2n to the power square okay which is much more relevant and this will give us ac okay so let's see how we can do this uh, we can use we can use here with we can use hash map so that we can store our sum of a and b and further we can use it when we are computing c and c plus d okay so how we can do this okay so let's understand this with the help of the code okay i have grabbed my code here so what i have done is we have initialized count equals to zero because initially there will be no count okay we have taken a map we have taken a map in which there are integer in which we will in which we will okay let's write here we have map integer comma integer and p where this one is for our sum and this one is for our frequency okay of that particular sum okay so we are heading towards this one which will lead us to the order of n squared now let's see what is in in, in this particular thing we have we have uh, we have the sum of a and b and then we have we have put it into the we have put it into the uh, map if it is present over there then we have incremented that uh, frequency and if not presented over if it does not contains then we have put it with value 1 with its frequency 1 basically okay and further that now we have mapped for a plus b okay now we have to check for c plus d okay in minus make sure in minus so what we have done we have again uh, iterated in the loop of order of n square in which we have again uh, calculated the sum of c and d and we have say we have we have we have seen that if this sum minus 1 contains into the map into the map then count plus equals to map dot get value of that matlab uh, it means that we are taking the frequency the number of times that particular sum occurred okay and then we returned the uh, we returned the count of that particular uh, uh, of that particular thing okay so this is the way we can do here the time complexity of is order of n square and the space complexity and the space complexity is come out to be order of uh, n okay order of n in like worst case okay so thank you so much uh, be safe and keep coding bye